Let's learn about water cycle. We use water every day for drinking, bathing, and cleaning. But have you ever wondered that water never runs out? This is because nature recycles water. This happens by the process of water cycle. The sun heats up the water of the water bodies, like ponds, rivers, lakes, and oceans. Heating changes the water into water vapor by the process of evaporation. The water vapor rises up in the air. Plants also lose water on the surface of their leaves by the process of transpiration. The water from the leaf surface changes into water vapor and evaporates into the air. The water vapor in the air now rises up in the sky. On reaching high in the sky, the water vapor cools down and changes into water droplets by the process of condensation. These water droplets form the clouds that we see in the sky. When the clouds become so heavy that they cannot hold water anymore, they fall back on the earth surface in the form of rain. This process is called precipitation. In cold weather, or colder regions, the water may fall on the earth, in the form of hail, or snow. Thus, we see, that the water again returns to the surface of the earth. Some of this water, seeps deep under the ground, and is available for our use. This water is known as, groundwater. And some water falls into the rivers, ponds, lakes, and oceans. The sun again heats up the water on the earth, converting it into water vapor. This cycle continues. We call this cycle the water cycle. Let's revise. The water changes into water vapor by the process of evaporation. Water vapor rises high up in the sky. Here, it changes into water droplets and forms clouds. This process is known as condensation. When clouds become heavy, they fall back on the surface of the earth in the form of rain, hail or snow. This process is called precipitation. This water cycle repeats and continues 